Hey, what's up guys? MGZ here, back on my own custom mod pack. I've been a little bit busy, as you can see, moving some things around. I moved my bed over here. Uh, of course, these aren't permanent. I just got them out of the way of my Batania area, which, if I say so myself, looks pretty spiffy. Um, I moved these around. I'm actually going to add uh, other uh, mana pools over there, which... I can do right now. Wow, I'm even getting a bit of lag recording right now. This sucks. So, um, let's see. How was I crafting? I have my thing, this, the Philosopher's Stone. I knew I had it somewhere. You just press the letter C on that and have at it. So, that and that will get me two of these. Um,. I'll do away with the dirt for now. I'll just drop you and you. And then I'll put you there and there. And apparently if these mana spreaders are above the uh, mana distributor, it can still hit it. These uh, mana pools must count as half slabs. Because if you look at it, it's hitting right at the center. But if you mouse over with your spreader uh it says mana distributor at the bottom let's see i wanted to get rid of that i have this over here i have it shooting from those but i wanted to make uh over here i have the high hydro anges hydrangeas a little complicated to say um and before right before recording i was out you know getting tons and tons of flowers so I could have tons and tons of petals, even though I already have a lot. I used a lot uh, of my blue ones making those. Let's see. And red, is that all of them? No, these ones. And these ones. Okay. And the rest of them are over here. Now, if I remember correctly, to make them was, uh, no, it was two blue ones, it was three cyan, two, no, not, those are light blue, get back up there, one, two, three, why won't you go up, oh, there's no room, alright, I'll take the glass, uh, two blues, Goodness. Three cyan, which one of these are manas, one of these is mana, a pink one, and uh, a seed. But I need, let's see, drop that in. I need two, four, six, I need eight of them. So, it'd be two times eight, which is 16, and then... Let's see. So, 14 of these. 14. Uh, what is that? 3 times 8, which is 24. And then the third of those will have to be manized. And then uh, 8 of these. And then, of course, 8 seeds. <laughs> Which, uh, don't be confused, you can use any seeds. Anything that has the word seed in it, you can use it. So, you know, it doesn't have to be vanilla seeds from Minecraft. It could be anything that is a seed. Like, Wolfbane seed. I'll try that. I never tried it from Witchery, but we could try that. And I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Now, where are my buckets? That's the question. There they are. I need to make eight. I'm going to have two on each side. Just like over there, having it mirror itself. So it's, uh, oh, I didn't manize these ones yet. Let's come over here. So it's half of the blue. Well, that's wrong. Uh, and then, oh, well, we'll fix it. I think that's right. Probably not. If it's not, I'll fix it. Probably isn't. So one, one, two. 
Um, one of these. See, any seeds work. Put that back in, and there's one, one, two. Cool. So I'm gonna craft the rest of these, and I'll be right back. All right, that's all of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I did make too many, but oh well, I can use them later for something else. Let's see, what are you getting? You see he's getting mana. Let's see, without this, I'm kind of liking the symmetry. It looks pretty sweet. See, there's a mana burst there, hits the block, and then it gets spread to all four mana pools. And then if I go to sleep, we'll be generating even more mana because of the day blooms around. Which, I'm thinking about adding nightshades, but they only go half the rate. One nightshade is half the rate of a day bloom. And I don't think they have the uh, diagonal problem that these ones do. So, I don't know. Let me just make sure they're all connected. Let's see this. It's hard to see that there. Okay, that's connected. That's connected. That's connected. These are. Those are. Okay, those are. Okay, everything looks like it's connected all fine and dandy. I wonder if I were to put a one of those up here. Cuz normally I see these they take the water away literally. I don't know. We'll see. But look, that's already a quarter. Well, no. I had that pull from before. Um did this. I moved the chest back here. What else? What else? I plan on putting more mana, uh, now that I know that you could put the spreaders up higher and they'll hit the distributor. Um, I plan on putting more mana generation back here uh, in the, I'm not going to say near future, but in the future. Let's head downstairs and see what I did down there. I built a big reactor. <laughs> I had my little smeltery and sag mill thing going on over here. I moved the... Uh, what is this? The uh, Tinker Smeltery over here with all its stuff. This is the doubles chest from all the stuff I found originally. I built a 9x9 nine nine, uh, reactor, which uh, is 7x7 seven seven on the inside. I have graphite blocks, and I plan on doing it like I did when I played uh, without recording, uh, surrounding the uh, Eulorium rods with gold blocks put gold blocks from the top to the bottom on this side and this side so basically the exposed sides of the eulorium rods and then the fluid in the middle is going to be uh destabilized redstone i believe that's what it's called and i have the in and out ports over here the redstone port for whenever i make the um oh what is that thing called um wow i can't think today uh, the powered monitor, that's the word. I have a power tap over here. I have enough room for another power tap for whenever we're making insane amounts of power. A small capacitor, uh, it's only six million. And then I cut out another shape for another reactor the exact same size. And if you really can't tell I'm going for symmetry from this, then there's something wrong with you. Over here, it's one block away from the wall. And over there, it's gonna be one block away from the wall. And, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. Um, yeah, I'm trying to keep everything symmetrical. Of course, there's not going to be a smeltery there and a smeltery there, but big things like my mana dispersion and all that sym symmetrical power is going to be symmetrical. I want to move that uh, capacitor somewhere. I'm not quite sure yet. Of course, I'll figure that out while I'm not playing. Um, I did take a trip to the nether. If you look at my pickaxes, it has a uh, a more a Mordrin pickaxe head. They both do. Um, I thought I replaced that. No, I made a a mattock, replaced my uh, my stone, my flint axe, and my shovel. Um, I'm not even gonna pronounce that or because uh, it's hard. <laughs> um, and look at all of what I got. Yeah, I used a ton of 
uh, iron and I did use a ton of gold. I don't quite have enough gold to cover those Eulorium rods, which is what I was talking about. I need 504 pieces and that'll make, uh, I forget how many blocks, but I did do the math and I need 504 pieces to surround all of those. Um, and where are my cables? Right here. I made a bunch of cables. I didn't, I shouldn't have made this many because I'm going to end up replacing them pretty soon. Um, I don't know how soon because I have to get stuff laid out. But, um, oh well. <laughs> I can't fly just yet, so I don't have to build like a ladder to put these up. Um, one thing I did want to do is get rid of this armor, and I want to do that with Batania. So I'll need to make... I don't have a diamond on me, do I? No, I need a diamond. I wanted to do a, a tiny bit of Batania. I wanted to get the Sojourner Sash going. Um, so I'll need some iron. Where's the diamond? It's over here. I'll bring four just in case. You can see here's my old uh, axe, well, hatchet and shovel. Got a bunch of lapis, a bunch of nether quartz. I got some glowstone upstairs. Um, yeah, high jump and high step from two separate items when I could do it with one so much better so let's take a look at that so journers I don't know how to spell it there it is uh, leather man is still ingot rune of air and a rune of earth so I need coal stone and a mushroom I hope I have a mushroom somewhere so one two three four five six seven eight nine that Let's see if I have anything up here. What do I need? I have the iron, string, feather, and carpet. So, let's see. Feather. I think carpet is... Uh, is it two? Okay, it's two instead of three. Um, I have the string. String, feather, carpet. So I have these. I can just go uh, one, two, three. Oh, not enough in that one. Cool. Um, but I do need to build the runic altar before I can do anything. Because I need to make those. So yeah, let's look at that first runic altar. Which, okay, that's pretty easy. Just take my diamond. What? Not enough in there either? Definitely isn't that one. I need some living stone, which I have. So I'll just come back to this. That. Whoops, wrong one. There we go. Runic altar. I need to make uh, another mana spreader. I don't think I have one anywhere. I have the wood. Nope. So I need diamond in a petal. Not diamond, uh, gold. So just one piece of gold in a petal, which I have in my inventory. Okay, so for now I will place it right, let's see, right here looks good. It's right down the center. Um, let's get to crafting that, which is this, that this and that oops I always do that backwards so let's just plop that there now I need this uh, that one of those one two three that and good I have at least one let's get some stone going a lag spike I want to get that going and then the next thing I want to work on is uh, a mining age but it's not how most people would do it I'm gonna show you how whoops oh, grab it oh, it's not done oh, I ran out of mana really I've never had that happen before come here let's grab this that Bind mode, this to there. Wow, I've never had that happen before. Looks like I'm going to have to sit here AFK and let this run. 
Okay, now it's finished. Ow, that's really loud. That's really, really loud. Okay, the rune of earth is a block of coal, uh, stone, and a mushroom. That's what I forgot to look for was the uh, the mushroom. I should have one around here somewhere. Let's see, block of coal. I have the stone on me, and I actually don't have any food. <laughs> I just realized that. I'm starting to get hungry, and I don't have any food. Let's see, mushroom, mushroom. Let's make this easier to look for. If I have one. If I don't have one, that's going to suck. Oh boy. Looks like I don't have one. I've been to so many places. I don't have one mushroom. Can I make one? Nope. Wow, I don't have a mushroom. Hmm. Check the chest downstairs really quick. If I can't find one downstairs, then I have to make another cut and come back. Ooh, whatever those numbers were. Nothing there, nothing there. No nothing's in there. And I'm out of chests, so I'll have to be right back because I don't have not one single mushroom. So, I found seven. They weren't that far, neither. Less than 150 blocks away. Um. So, back to... What I was doing, which is the rune of earth, which is mushroom, block of coal, three mana steel. So this one has the most, but I'll use this one. Okay. Oh, just enough too. Okay. So one, two, three, this, this, and that one, two, three, go. While that's going, I'll knock these down. Cool. And eventually, I do want to turn this to something else instead of cobblestone. Because cobblestone is pretty boring and basic and vanilla. Bleh. <laughs> so, yes, I, I would like that to be something different. Um, but, of course, that will be on... That, that'll be done later on in this series. Just because, uh, look at it, it's blah. Okay, that's all done. Okay, so to make that, we need four leather, one mana steel ingot, which I should be able to make another one. Good. I know I have the leather somewhere. I actually just picked up one, so I have leather. There we go, three, four. Uh, let's grab this thing. Actually, if I think about it I think these might stack so one here this and then one two three four there we go so this is how fast I go wait I don't have running right now I have high step and high jump oh so it won't matter whoops wrong button that's the old button I guess I'll have to do it manually where's my bobbles there we go yeah so now I can run fast I'm pretty sure the high jump doesn't double stack. Wait, oh, wow. Did I look at that right? Oh, it does double stack. Look at that. Like, if I take off my wings, I can only jump too high. But with the wings on, I can jump four. <laughs> That's crazy. I might leave that on. That helps. At least the wings. I can get rid of the boots because the boots are nothing but high step. Unless I could step up two. Which would be ridiculous. Like, high step is up one block. But I have high step on the boots. And I also have high step from this. Okay, I didn't think so. But So that means I can get rid of the boots, get some better boots. I can get a helmet going. And I like the traveler's vest. It allows me to swim a lot faster, which is pretty sweet. Wow, I can jump really high. That's awesome. I'm going to keep that for now until I find something else. That'll allow me to high jump. But uh, like I said before, I want to be able to make uh, a mining age. Because I don't want to 
dig giant holes inside of my world, even though I can go, you know, 6,000 blocks that way or 6,000 blocks in any direction and then, you know, dig a hole and I would probably never have to see it again except for when I go get my quarry, which I don't even have a quarry yet. Um, I don't even have the resources for a quarry yet, uh, but, uh, you know, I'd rather it be somewhere else where I don't have to worry about it. So what I am going to use is, I don't know if that messed up the recording. It still says it was recording. Uh, but what I'm going to use is, my fingernails weren't so long, RF tools. Now I use this while I wasn't uh, recording. I was just, you know, doing single player by myself, just playing around. And you can either get random dimensions, just like Miscraft, which is why I don't have Miscraft in this pack. I, I kind of hate Miscraft, how you have to write and know the symbols and know which order and all that. Or you can generate random ones like, you know, any other dimension mod. Um, but you can either generate random ones or you can do specific things. And uh, it all runs off of RF. So you need to power uh, your worlds, basically. And if they run out of power, then if you're in it, you're going to die, which kind of sucks. There's a way to get back in it. Um, but as long as it has power, you, you can stay in it. You can even live in it, which is pretty sweet. So I want to get started on that. The things that I need are a dimlet researcher. So I need some comparators. Uh, I should have emptied out my, actually, you know what? I'll use my bag of holding. Let's see. What can I throw in here? I need the redstone out. I need the sticks out. These power conics can go away for now. This, all of that. Oops. Give me that. Um, those can stay, those can stay, that, that. Okay, so let's bring this back down. I need one, two, three, four, five, six. I need six of those for the Dimlet Researcher. So I need stone and quartz, two. So it would be this. Whoops, I meant to hold right click that, that one. Oh crap, I put the stone away like a goofball. Okay, that should work. So it's stone, uh, the quartz, and then these. Oh my goodness, stop going off. Go in there, thank you. Um, next I need iron and a machine frame, so. One, two, um, I had gold somewhere. There we go. That, that, this, and that, I believe. And then all four corners. Yes, machine frame. I'm going to need a lot more of these. Uh, redstone and an unknown dimlet. Now, where did I put my dimlets? Oops. There they go. I, I actually want to do this on a actual bench. That way I can shift click. That way I don't have to remember. <laughs> so I can do that. Okay, we got the Dimlet Researcher. Next, we need the... Uh, not the Scrambler, not yet. I need the Inscriber, which is another one of those. I need more Lapis, so I'll just get a bunch of that. Wow, that's awesome being able to jump like that. Let's see, uh, Inscriber, so another one of these, whoops, not the Scrambler, not the Scrambler, where'd it go? Inscriber, there we go, oh, I need ink sacks and paper, uh, I should have ink sacks, and I believe I have two pieces of paper somewhere, I believe so, yeah, see, paper, um, I know I have ink sacks. I picked up a few. Okay, let's do this. Ink. Sack. I know I didn't throw them out. I don't want to make another cut. Oh, man. I could have swore I had them somewhere. I know I had ink sacks somewhere. Actually, that's not even... How you spell it? Is it with just a C? Maybe that's why I'm not seeing it. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. I swear I had ink sac somewhere. It wouldn't be in there, no. Guess I'll be back again. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I got uh some ink sac. I actually died. I tried to freaking swan dive off the top of my house and um yeah, that didn't quite work out. And I got some food while I was down there. So where is the chicken? Come on, burn up. There we go. Went back over here to continue on what we were doing, which was RF tools. Wish I can get this out of the way. Um, I was doing the inscriber, yes. So one of those. I need the dimension builder, which is two diamonds, an emerald, uh, ender pearls, and gold. I have the diamonds on me. I do have an emerald. Um, ender pearls. I had them somewhere, and with the philosopher's stone, I was able to make some. Here we go. I'm going to need them, so I'm going to put all this other stuff away for now. Um, put you away. I need some gold, so I'm going to get 10 of those. I'm going to break one of them down. Do I have lapis? Yes. Let's see if I'm able to do this. I would like to get to at least one dimension for now. Uh, so the dimension builder, I need one of you. Let's get two of these for now. Um, builder. So I should be able to get that. Okay, the dimension builder. Uh, I don't need the editor. I do need a matter transmitter and a matter receiver. So there is the transmitter. Um, what am I missing? Oh, right, the machine block. And this. And the transceiver. All of this needs power, so only for right now, I'm going to set this up down here. Of course, I want it to have it. I want to have it in a custom spot. Somewhere where it's always going to be, you know, just like everything else, like this, this reactor, it's not going to move. This is going to be where it is. Uh, whether I build below it, like a turbine or build beside it, a turbine or whatever I'm going to do, this is going to stay there. That reactor is going to stay there. This is going to go bye-bye in a moment. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how soon, but, you know, soon enough. Um, so where am I going to put these machines for now? Uh, for right now, let's, let's see, let's actually, let's get them in order. There's no order you have to place them, but there is an order that I like to have them. Uh, the inscriber and then the builder. Oh, I'm missing two machines. I just realized that, uh, I need the dialing device. Uh, and I like to have the destination analyzer. It lets me know. Um, it lets me know if it's safe to go to that next area. Uh, what do I need? The dialing device is all redstone and some sticks. So I need some more wood, which I don't think I have any more sticks on me. I do have wood though. Okay. Let's just make a bunch of sticks. I have redstone on me. Where is it? Dialing device. Okay, and the destination analyzer. So two of those. I need right here. I need two of these automatically. And I only had enough for one. So let's do that. This that. Um here, here, and iron. And hopefully I have enough um I don't think I have enough ender pearls, but I'll show you how I make them. Whoops. Not that yet. I need two of you. And then I can do that. Wait, what did I? Oh, I don't need the matter booster. I need the destination analyzer. Oh, I do have enough. Well, I'll show you how I made my ender pearls anyway, because I don't, as you can see, nothing's built. I don't have any farms or anything. So if you take the philosopher's stone, there's many things you can craft with it. This is ender pearls. So I have a ton of iron. If I ever need ender pearls in a hit in a pinch, I could do it that way. But if I even take a diamond, makes four gold makes a diamond. So if I take my gold here and do that, I get a diamond out of it. That's pretty sweet. 
I didn't know that was in that mod, but oh well. <laughs> uh, let's see. Destination analyzer there. Let's get the dialing device there. Uh, I'll get the transmitter here and the receiver there. And this all needs power, so let's get to digging. I don't think I explained. Did I explain why I don't have morph in this mod pack? I felt morph, albeit a cool. Um, oops. It's a cool mod, but I wish that portal was shut up. Morph is a cool mod, but um, actually I need to move this. But it, to me, it feels a little bit too cheaty. The fact that you can fly as soon as you find a bat. Okay, awesome, but I don't like that. <laughs> and why aren't you getting power? That's a little weird. Hmm. That's really weird. It's not getting power at all. It's sitting on top of power, but it's not getting it. Oh well, let's uh let's try this anyway. Block this back up for now. Um so I need to make where are you? There it is, this. An empty dimension tablet. So I need paper. Which means I need uh, some sugar cane, which I'm pretty sure I don't have a farm of sugar cane, but I need to get it going. Okay, so I have enough to make... Where's my philosopher's stone? Here we go. I have enough to make three pages. I think I have... I thought I had a fourth one somewhere. Did I use it? I think I did. I spend more time looking in this thing than I do actually doing stuff. <laughs> um, crap. Well, for now, let's put that there. Let's see. Paper. Hmm. I know I don't have any books anywhere. I'm really trying to avoid making another cut. I don't want to make another cut. Did I put it in here? Yes, I did. Okay. And here comes the rain. Good thing we're going downstairs. Bye-bye. You -bye. still slightly hear the rain, but not as loud. Okay, so... It's uh, one, two, three, four. And I'm only going to make one for now, of course. Or is it the other way around? Okay. Am I missing anything? Oh, it's five pieces of paper. I don't know why I thought it was four. None there. None there. You know what? I'll get sugar cane when I'm not recording. Is it nighttime yet? I'll sleep. Good. That'll get rid of the rain. Okay. Now let's come here. Uh, let's make some more paper. I will definitely make some more paper. Uh, make some more sugar cane so I can make some more paper. So this. Cool. Empty dimension tab. Now I need one more thing. I know I keep saying one more thing. I forget what it's called. This thing. I need a charger. Charged porter. Uh, four ender pearls, redstone, and... Um, what was that other thing? I, I looked at it really quickly. I didn't really pay attention. <laughs> redstone and iron. Okay. So it looks like I'm going to have to use my philosopher's stone trick. So that's two, three, four. Okay. So it's one, two, three, four. Redstone block this, that. And before I do anything, because if you do not charge this, you cannot get back. Uh, you just put it in a capacitor if you have Ender I.O. And I'll let that go. Uh, 
Wait, what is this block? A dimlet researcher. Okay, I don't need that at the moment. Uh, if you want to make a random dimension, you just take a empty dimension tab, place it in here. It doesn't shift click, by the way. Of course, I get the fireworks. You hit store. That will randomize it. And every dimension you make has a creation cost. This is 2,000 RF per tick, and it only needs 10, R 10 RF per tick to keep it open. So after you do that, you stick it in the dimension builder, which it has its own buffer. Of course, since I have minimal power uh, and minimal power conduits, it's not full. You just stick it in there. That does uh, shift click into here. But as you can see, the bluer this becomes, once it reaches 100%, uh, you the dimension is built. Now, here's the thing. Let me see. See how it's counting down in the RF? If you see at current power, it's counting down. If you're in there, when that thing goes to zero, you're going to die. <laughs> Let's put it like that. Um, but if you want, and I wish I had my uh, powered monitor on. I'm going to turn this on just in case. That way I don't die. Uh, if you want, you can keep this in here and in some cases when you build custom dimensions you're going to have to uh, because the RF protect that they use to keep them open will be so high that it'll drain the power immediately okay this is set you want to come over to your dialing device and I didn't name this world I don't think I can name it let me see nope I can't name it um, so I'll just keep it in there you want to make sure you name it you can type your name of your world right here and then once you hit store it'll store the name and all the content you put in it um, and there is a way to get rid of it I'll probably show that in a separate video but all you have to do is come over to your dialing device click um, this would be this matter transmitter which you can name this so I'll name it home and hit enter so now you see up here it says home and then this one would be home uh what is it called receiver receiver enter so now in here they have names this is the home receiver and this is the home matter transporter transmitter so you click up here click here hit dial divide dialing device power too low now that's one thing i don't understand why isn't it getting power i put it on the conduit it doesn't I don't think it goes through the destination analyzer does it now now why are you not working I've never had a problem with this before you know you just stick it on some power conduits and call it a day I don't know why it's not working everything else is getting power Hmm. What if I put you down there? Okay, now it's working. That's really weird. Uh, let's just put you there then. So come here, hit home, hit this, dial. It's okay to go. If this beam is green, then you're okay to go through. If it's yellow, that means the other side is low on power. And if it's red, that means the dimension you're trying to go to has no power whatsoever. So you just step in and it's going to take a few seconds. It's going to download terrain and I'm cutting this episode really close because I'm just getting to the dimension and there's about 30 seconds left. <laughs> Although the terrain may take longer to generate. Okay, once you get here, it is randomly generated. It will have, oh yes, look at that. Okay, my timer's running out and I should have brought a sleeping bag because uh, there is a chance of hostile mobs and I hope this is an eternal night, but uh, you don't really have to, but I, I like to do this. Um, what is that thing called, receiver? Wow, 
I can't spell right now. That's yeah. You don't have to come back to this because that's why you have this charge porter. But I think that's redstone. Or no, that's not redstone. That's something else. That looks like uh one of the ores. Okay, it's infusium. It looked like redstone at first, and then it looked like something else. But uh this actually looks like a world I, I'm going to need to be able to fly through. I ooh, I thought I was going to fall. I don't know what happens if you fall through the void. I might have to test that somehow. Um, but it looks like these orbs are all made of something different. That looks like quite, uh, clay. Oh my god, that's a uh, withered skeleton. Well, he has wither arrows. Let's see. What is this? Is this uh, I'm going to die. I got lucky. Is this the same thing? Yes, it is. Infusium. Okay, so to get out, you just uh, pull these charge porter out. Right click. Oh, I forgot to set the target. So I myself am stuck. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to do this on camera just so you guys can see. Uh, I'm going to open LAN, allow cheats, start LAN. I'm going to TP... X M G E Z Y uh zero. Oh, it's not zero. Um oh, what is it called? I wanna figure it out so you guys can see how to do it. Just in case you get stuck and is stupid like I am. I forgot to show you one step step. T P X M G E Z Y eight nine. Is it dim zero? Oh, man, I forget. Um, I know I'm way over on time, but I want to show you guys this, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I think I found out. It's TPX0? No. Uh, TPX... I don't know if that's a special mod that does that or what. 89? No. Let me see. TPX help? No. Help. Error occurred while attempting to perform this. Really? Okay, I'm going to have to see if that's a mod. If that is a mod, then I'll have to input that. Um, let's see. No, turn the rain off. No, turn the rain off. All right, I'm in creative. Let me see. TPX. Yeah, that must be a mod. Um, so, the other way that I know how to get out is look up a portal. And you want the Minecraft portal. Teaching you guys cheats. Lay it down. You can break it. Can't break other portals that you spawn in through obsidian. Can't believe I forgot that one crucial step. It's going to generate somewhere in, uh, in the overworld. Not the overall, in the nether. It's going to generate somewhere in the nether. Right. And it's... Oh, nice. It's my actual portal. So if I step back in... Hopefully there's nothing around. Step back into my own portal, which it took me to, which is pretty nice. I'll be back in my house. And then I can show you guys how to get into the dimension and get back out. Okay. I'm back out. Let me get out of uh get out of land mode okay so what you want to do take your i have facebook open in the background take your charge porter aim at the matter receiver shift right click you'll see in chat it says charge porter target is set to one so now i can do this the right way <laughs> okay so now i'm back here and oh crap they're chasing me. So let's say you're in a dangerous situation like this in one of your da uh, your dimensions. And you're being chased. Pull out your porter. Click it. It's going to start teleportation while you run. And it sends you right back. And of course it uses a little bit of the charge. Let me get out of creative mode. Um, so all I have to do is to remember, remember to sync it to the matter receiver. And don't forget to charge it. When you come back, if you have a wireless charger from Ender.io, that'll help. Um, 
Wow, I keep getting Facebook stuff in the background. But I'm way over time. I'm in Jeezy, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.